Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a good looking puzzle in front of us. There's a few rule sets here that we need to go through, but um, doesn't look like it's going to be super difficult or anything those lines. We just got to be able to pick through all this stuff that we've got in here. So uh, let's get started and see what's going on with this thing. So it's called eight, nine pairs. I think we have a pretty good reason why that's the case. Uh, it's by Duarte Carvalho. And let's just take a check at what the rules are. So normal Sudoku. So every row column and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. We've got crop key, so digits set by white dot. Well, we don't have any white dots, so forget that. Black dots, uh, digits set by a black dot or one to two ratio. So we have uh, these guys here. These will be in a one to two ratio or one will be double the other. Then we have X V clues, so digits separated by an X sum to 10. We do have X's, so these will be 10. We do have V's, these will be five. Then we've got thermos, so digits on a thermometer must strictly increase from the bulb to tip. So this guy here is a bulb, this is a tip. These will increase as they go in any way. As long as the digits are increasing, it's good. Then we have arrows, so the digits along the arrow must sum to the number in the circled cells. So we got a oh, we got a pill actually here for this arrow. We don't send a tend to see pills all that often, but all of these digits are going to add to something and that will be put here where this is the tens digit and this is the ones digit and then we have quadruples so every digit in a circle must be assigned to one of the four surrounding cells so down here we have an eight nine meaning of these four cells at least one of them will be an eight and at least one of them will be a nine now there is the possibility of repetition here we'll just have to see what comes out of the puzzle and those are all the rules so like i said nothing crazy just uh, a few things that are all kind of paired together where we have to kind of work through this thing and see where we can find ins and outs so with that said let's get at it links in the description below let's have some fun all right i'm going to start with my v's i tend to do that i just like to get them in and out of the way and see what they bring like this can't be a one or a two so this can't be a three or a four um this then is a two three one two so we get a one two pair so that just means this is three four one two this eight no nope two this is an eight nine because we have our quad there this guy over here we don't quite know we know this isn't an eight or a nine but we don't know where the other two go or the two of them go i should say this one says this is a two three pair that can't be two, that can't be three. Um, we can look at this as an X-wing, or we can just start here and say, these are eights and nines here, these can't be, so therefore these are. And they have to go in that order because they're on the thermo. This will be five, six, or seven. Now let's go back to this. If this is a nine, this has to be a nine, and these have to be the eights. And then we can go back to what I was briefly mentioned about we can either use the x-wing or we can start to put things in we just looked at it as terms of an x-wing none of these can be eights or nines so these have to be and that's brought up and reinforced by the fact that we have a nine and an eight here this has to be a one or a two now what else doesn't really say much on you this one says this is two this is either one or four yeah, I guess this, okay, this can't be a 1-4 pair then, so it is a 2-3. Whether that helps or not, I don't quite know. Um, This, okay, these guys can't be 8s or 9s either, so this is an 8-9 pair. We don't know if that's the 8 or the 9. We do get 8-9s looking down this way, though, which means these are 8s and 9s. I don't know if we can or want to necessarily put those in just yet. What else we got? <clears throat> um, oh, well, there's something down here. We have three low digits currently, whatever they may be. Well, one of these two is also low. So we have all four low digits in this uh, row now. So these guys are all going to be the high digits. Now this can't be a seven or nine, of course. Therefore, this can't be a one. So this can't be a four. Now, oh, sorry, fives. I forgot the five over here as well. 
Now, this is never going to be a nine, right? What's the most we can ever do? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, let's say. Uh, that is what, 39 plus five. So we're at 44 plus, let's say, a seven and a nine. So we can get into the 60s. So this is not seven, eight, or nine. I don't know if we can necessarily say which one these are, and I don't think I want to start on math just yet. Okay, what else do we have then? This one's not a nine. Oh, no, it doesn't tell us. I thought we, yeah, it does tell us actually. This is a nine. That's the easier way to go about all this. Uh, because we have the one, two pair, this cannot be a one, nine. So none of these are nines. That's a nine. All right. What else? These guys are going to either be 3, 7, or 6, 4. Eh, just means one of those is a 5, but again, we know that. What else can we then say? Let's see. Um, what do we got? The 2 says this can't be 2, this can't be 3. Anything else there? Not necessarily. Uh, where are we going next? Can we get something on this guy? It doesn't really feel like it, does it? Right. No, that could still be a one. I was trying to see if I could push this three onto one of these guys or something along those lines. Actually, we can. We know three and three. So one of these is a three which means one of these is a six. Again, I don't know if that's super helpful or not. These thermos are pretty short, but this guy is getting reduced. Let's just try some things. So that can't be a four, actually, because this would be three, two, one, and that would break this. So six, five, four, five, four, three, and then one, two, three, or four, I think, are the options, and this can't be a two. Uh, that two, three also says this can't be a three, so this can't be a four and a five. So there's that. Uh, the eight, nine, pair, oh, we have a one, three, four here. Let me make sure that's right. Seven, six, six, five, five, four, one, three, four. Yeah, that's a one, three, four, two triple, I guess. So these have to be from five sixes and sevens. That this actually can't be a seven because I would force this to be eight and nine. Well, this would also be eight. You'd have two eights. That's not seven. So this is. Okay. What does that do for us? None of these are sevens. So one of these is. The problem is we don't know if it's 7-3 or 7-3 here just yet. This 5 or 6 I don't think says much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can't be a 2. All right, what else can we say? None of those are 9s. One of those is. What else we got here? Do we have anything on these guys? Because there, there are two sets of 10s where we can't use 9-1. So they could be... Well, there's actually going to be a little bit of restriction there because of what they do, but I don't think we can actually figure it out just yet. Because if you were to put a 2-8 here, you'd have to put a 6-4 here because you couldn't do the 7-3 anymore. And we can. there's multiple options there. I would think that would force other things to occur. Okay, where do we now have something to work with? Nines and ones, no. No, eight, nine pair. One of these is an eight, which means one of these is a two. Okay, there's our in for this guy. Yeah, because we have this eight, nine x wing we have to put an eight one which means we have to put a two so this is one four two eight nine and this has to be an eight which means this isn't 
Now, what about these guys? This has to be a 7, 3, because it can't be 9, 1, 8, 2, or 6, 4, which means this is not a 7. Okay. Now we know this is the 3, because we said previously the 7 was going over here. This forces a 2 and a 3. What did any of this other stuff do for us? 2, 3, the 5, 6. We have a 5, 6 pair, but I don't think that... Oh, it does, yes. It tells us this one is the 6 and the 3. So let's get rid of that stuff. Uh, the 3s... Eh, don't quite... Oh, this can't be 3. I don't think we have anything else there at the moment. But we do know this is an 8, 2... And, nope, not that, that, and a 7, 3. And this one isn't the 3, so this one isn't the 7. So we get these pairs we can look at. We also know what these two are. They're going to be 5 and 6, it looks like. So this is the 6 and the 5, because we have a 5. Good. We can get rid of these markings now, too. We don't need them. All right, what does that do to maybe one of this guy here? We need five, six, and seven. It's gotta be something we can work through with that, right? Because this can't be seven, this can't be five. Eh. Not as useful as I hoped it might be. What about you guys? Oh wait, this guy here. He is the two because of the, the crop key there. So that's eight, seven, three. This has to be a four because it can't be a one. There are not a four anymore. That's still open. Those are still open. Oh, this can't be a five either. So one of those two is a five. What are you? Two, one, three, and seven, it looks like. Okay, this can't be one or three. So this is the other one, three, and this is the seven. Okay, what about you two now? Four, five, and six? That's definitely not a... F well, no, I thought I had some more than that. Uh, four, five, and six, this one's definitely not the four, and the seven actually just says that it's a five and six. So let's put those in. And now we can say what this digit is. It is just a five. Only thing left in the column, which means six, seven. Seven. And what else? The one four pair now. So this is a three, which means this is a two. This is still possibly one or four. Do we know what this guy is? No, could be one nine or six four. Do we know what this is? No, just can't be a three six. Okay. Uh, we still haven't worked on this 8, 9 over here, or this guy over here, but them's the breaks, right? What else can we say? Um, ones, twos, and threes. No, we have to probably have to do something with one of these clues over here. Or we have to start adding. Maybe we should start adding. All right. 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5 is 35. 37. Uh, 44 plus 5 is 49. So this is 56. And this had to be a 7 to make the math work. Good. Now, that is a 3. That is a 2. We can get into some of these. What are these two first, actually? Then we'll go to these guys. That'll be better off. We've got 1s and 4s. So we have a 1-4 pair. This is not a 6. Uh, this is a 5-7. We can do that. Didn't mean to go up here and do all this stuff, but we're doing it, so we might as well stick with it. That's a 4. That's a 1-4. And 1-4. 6. 5. All right, now let's get back to what we're doing. What are these two? 2 and... 9. So this is the 2. This is the 9. This is the 1. This is the 8. What did I say 8? It is the 4. 
I was thinking of it a 10 clue there. Duh. Um, this is a 6. Okay. And you are just a given over here of a 5. You are 8 and 3. Doesn't look like that's resolved. What are you guys? You're just a 1 2 pair. You are the one. You are the walrus as well. Uh, what else we got? Oh, one, two, one, three, four, eight. This one right here, I think, is a given. We have one, three, four, and eight. One, three, four, eight. This can't be three, four, or eight. It's one, four, three, one, eight, three. Okay, what about you guys now? We have six, eight, and nine. We have to put the eight and the nine in in our quad, so you are the six, you're eight and nine. This guy here now says this is nine and seven, so we can do that and sort these guys all out. Then we know the eight has to go here for this quad. This is a five, and now we can work out these last uh, thermo groups. Four and six, so this is four, six, this is a one. There we go. You solved the puzzle. Solution is correct. So yeah, we got through that one a lot quicker than I thought we would, to be honest, because of everything that was going on. It felt like it might take a little bit of time to dig into it, but it all seemed to really kind of click together, just kind of following each clue and how it, it took us to the next spot. So really fun. Really enjoyed that one. And I think this one is going to be um, being published on a Sunday, so it'd be a little Sunday fun day. Um, not too stressful type of a puzzle, which is perfect for that kind of a day. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this one. I certainly did. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.